Hello and welcome to a review of the Nerf Elite Rough Cut 2x4. A pump action Nerf shotgun from the End Strike Elite line. Now this blaster has a capacity of 8 darts. It loads from the front. You insert your darts into the front like so to load the blaster. Now this blaster normally fires two darts at once, but however, from my past usings of the blaster, if you use it miscorrectly or fire about darts, so well, it kind of breaks down over time, I think. For example, sometimes, it oh, fired to two that time, sometimes it fires three. For this review, it's being rather good, good boy. Now I got you one thing. Do I have to put the darts in a certain area for it to work? No. Because you see, this thing has a smart AR system. You can see the how I progress the darts and think, oh, yeah, that won't work. Behold! It works. And so does, so does here. Here, here, sorry, that just really does not work, and as well as the classic two darts in the front. This being a Springer blaster, it does not require any batteries, so you don't have to waste any good money, or does it? Because you see, this being pump action, instead of the usual Springer. This thing comes with a very powerful and fe good feature that could help you win a Nerf War. Slam Fire. Now Slam Fire works by holding a trigger and then spamming the um, priming handle, like so. You can empty out a lot of darts with this capability. It being loaded from the front means Jams are impossible. This thing cannot jam. However, this thing can have some misfires and such. And, because of its smart AR system, it's best not to leave the darts inside the blaster after a game. And even comes with a tag. For best performance, do not store darts in blaster. This thing comes in three shells, actually. It comes in a blue shell from the End Strike Elite line, like it usually does. A battle camo, white with blue camo. And this, a white and orange color shell, which is probably my favorite. When you think rough cut, what shell comes to mind? For me, it's this one, and probably with many other people as well. And another interesting thing, prime handle, if, mm. however, if you don't pull the handle all the way back and then slam it back, this happens. Pay close attention, I am not primed all the way, and the darts go out. Pretty interesting. Yeah. Yeah, yeah. Now, I think this is a very good blaster for children. Because it's easy. I mean, look at it. The prime handle's good, I think. The trigger is good. And the handle is even better. Because the handle is different from other blasters. I really like that handle. The fact that it's rotated from the front and impossible to jam. It also comes with a sight and tack rail. And this thing here for attaching it a stack point so you can carry the blaster on with you by. So, like such. Now the price. The price is 
interesting with this blaster. You would expect that this 8 dart shotgun would be cheap as chips. Some models it isn't. There's some that are somewhere around $49 and it's crazy. It's crazy how expensive this thing is. There's some where you could buy an infinite for less. An infinite if you if you don't know is a massive machine gun with 30 dart capacity with the drum mag it comes with. However, the cheapest model, I, the cheapest buy I could find was $27. Now, this, this review has been fun of this awesome blaster with its firing capabilities and trigger pull. I think this is a great blaster for your grandkids or kids. Kids or grandkids. Whatever you spent on your rough cut, you made a very good choice. I believe this is an excellent buy for your kids. So this blaster gets a 9 out of 10. Why not a perfect 10? There are some flaws and you could do better. But still this is just a superb thing. Stay tuned for more nerf reviews. Hope you enjoyed this one.